care of. Thanks for being so special. Toodles. Fiona. So my mom took away my iPod. No way. Can you believe it? For a whole month. I don't know how I'm gonna live without it. Rachel, but you still have your Blackberry, right? Yeah. Rachel, oh. do you think you could sign my yearbook? Don't have a pen, sorry. Right. I can't believe she just asked me that. <laughs> Thanks, Fiona. Have a super summer. Next. Aubrey, could you sign my yearbook? Oh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Right. I'll see her. Could you please just give me a mercy signing? Fine. Who are you? Moon Dance Alexander. What grade are you in? Ninth. I'm just really short. Thank you. Well, have a good summer. See you later. Hey, girls. Hey. <laughs> Megan, my gum is stale. And I'm supposed to do what? <laughs> Duh. Kleenex? Don't have one, Fiona. Don't look at me. Hey, Moonwalk. Hi. Well, it, it's it's moon dance, actually. Whatever. <laughs> do you want me to send you your book? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Cute shirt, moon dance. Oh, totally. Thanks. Is it vintage? Um, I don't think so. Why? I had one just like it when I was 12. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Josh. Did you sign Moondance's yearbook? No. Um, no, not yet. Oh, oh that's foul. <laughs> 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 School's out today, and I made a complete idiot of myself again. I won't go into all the gory details, but trust me, it was really horrific. And in case you were wondering, my friend roster is at an all-time low. I, I don't mean to complain, it's just... You're the only one I can tell. Mom would only flip out and try to fix it. She keeps saying that I'm different because I'm destined for something special. I only wish I knew what that something was. That way it could start happening. With like now. Maybe you could put in a rush order for me? Well, I gotta go. Thanks for listening, Dad. You always make me feel better. I love you.
Dancy. Oh, hello, Moon Dance. <laughs> well, I see you got through another year of school. Yes, thank goodness. I don't think I could have lasted another day. Oh, well, you got the whole summer ahead for fun. You got any big plans? No, I think I'm just going to focus on my work. Your work? Well, that, that, that's good. <laughs> well, I got a couple of deliveries here for you. One of them goes to your mama's studio, and these are horse supplements that uh, go to this address. Now, it's on the edge of town, so I drew a little map for you on the back of the receipt. Okay. And you can drop it off there, and if there's no one around, you can just drop it in the mailbox, okay? Sounds good. Uh, Thanks, Mr. McClancy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, see. Yeah, see. Oh. Very nice, Rose. But I'm still sensing some anger in your work. I, I tried to soften the eyes a little. Yes, and that and that helped. I, I would just love to see you branch out a little. You know, maybe try a, a more uplifting subject matter. I paint what I feel. Okay, then. Oh, Ben, that is really very nice. Oh. Uh, thank you, Gelsey. That was a great choice of color. It's... Hey, Mom. Hey. Oh, hey, honey. I got your supplies. Hey, would you like to stay for a visualization exercise? The subject today is Fruits of the Garden. Uh, no thanks. I think I know what a tomato looks like. But I still have another delivery to make, but I will make sure that I am home by dinner. Okay, don't be late. I'm making something special. Special? Mm-hmm. Miso baked tofu with Cambodian-style pineapple glaze. Cambodian pineapple? It sounds wonderful. It is. It, it really is. Okay, Mom, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, you know, the, the sweet and then the spicy, it's just a really interesting yeah. combination. <laughs> about gave me a heart attack. Where's your owner? Are you alone out here? You look like you could use a good brushing. Or a bath. Or both. Where do you live? <laughs> well, what am I supposed to do with you? It's getting dark out. <laughs> And I can't just leave you here in the middle of the road. I 
I think you're gonna come home with me. <clears throat> it's okay. I'm just gonna put this around you. You ready? Come on. Come on. Mom. Yeah. Stop cooking. Why? What's the matter? I need you to come with me. Wait, 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 wait. Moon dance. Honey, where are we going? You'll see. Moondance, why are you being so mysterious? Don't worry. It's all good. I hope it's all good. It is. Ta-da! What am I looking at? Well, he was just right here. Who was? There you are. It's a horse. Well, it's a pinto. It's eating my organic apples. Can you believe it? I found him. What, what do you mean, you found it? Well, I was doing a delivery, you, you know, the one right after I saw you. And I was on this really creepy road, and I thought that somebody was following me, but then he jumped out, and I thought that he was a possible stalker, <laughs> but he's a horse. And you can obviously tell that he's neglected and really hungry. So I couldn't just leave him there in the middle of the road. Mom, I think he's homeless. <sighs> Moon dance. this horse is not homeless. He's gotten out somehow, and now he's lost. But we don't know that. Well, you know what? We'll call Mr. McClancy, and I'm sure he can help us find the owner. No! <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Uh... Okay, Buck. Yeah, thank you very much. I really appreciate all your help. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mr. McClancy said that there are only a few farms in that area, so he's going to make some calls and get back to us tomorrow. I never made my other delivery. Oh, well, you'll have to do it first thing in the morning after you find the horse's owner. That stinks. Well, that's life. Um, you know what, why don't I finish dinner and you go say goodnight to your temporary visitor. Oh, and we'll, we'll here, give him this and tell him to lay off my art. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, your forelock's all dirty. Want some apple? Yeah. There you go. You like that, don't you? I wonder who your owner is. Well, whoever they are, they should be flogged. Because you're a mess. See, if I were your owner, I would take really good care of you. You know what else? I, I would name you Checkers. I think you would like Checkers. Mm. Well then, I think Checkers it is. My name is Moondance Alexander. Now get off, I'm not gonna tell you again. Why are you freaking out? I just saw you flying through the air like Wonder Woman. I mean, thank goodness you're not hurt. You're not hurt, are you? No. Look, honey, you don't know this horse. He, he, he could have trampled you to death, and goodness knows whatever else a wild animal like this is capable of. Checkers isn't wild. <laughs> Checkers? I, I, I named him. Temporarily. Mr. McClancy is here to get the horse. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's all right. I guess all good things must come to an end. <sighs> no, come on, checkers.
Hi there. Oh, I take it to, this is the escape artist, huh? Yes, sir. Well, good thing you caught him, you know. Uh, no telling what kind of trouble he'd gotten into. <laughs> Who's he belong to, Buck? A uh, guy over at uh, Tumbleweed Stables. Would you mind if I went with you to drop him off? I think you have that delivery to make this morning. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that, Mr. McClancy. That's all right. You can make it up to me if you help me load the horse. Yeah, I, I'd like that. Come on, Checkers. Yeah, that does it. <laughs> Thanks again for everything, Buck. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> something fun for you to do this summer. Sure, Mom. This is just perfect. Tumbleweed stables? No way. up, don't they? Well, can't say that I blame them. Who are you? What do you want? Oh, um, I'm the one who... Speak up. Well, I, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm trying. You're trespassing. You know that, don't you? I'm the one who found your horse. You found my horse? Yes, sir. Um, I was just coming by to check and make sure that he's okay. It's fine. Right, well, I can see that. Can I ask you what his name is? Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell? But he's a boy. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I was wondering. How did he get out? That's for me to worry about. Okay. I guess I'll be leaving then. Can I ask you just one more thing? What? Do you need any help around this place? I, I mean, I was looking for a second summer job. I'm not hiring. Right. Well, you don't have to pay me. How about a trade? What kind of trade? I could clean up stalls and feed the horses, and in exchange, you can let me ride Tinkerbell. <laughs> What's your name? Moondance Alexander. Hmm. Good name. Thanks. Nobody's ever said that before. Well, except my mother. I'm Dante Lompre. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Lompre. So, what do you say? 
Is it a good trade? Sorry. Well, is, is that no? Thank you. Right. No, you, you think. Awesome. Love it. Nice pants. You know, Moon Dance, we do have this new thing called dry cleaning. I had an accident. That's more than we needed to know. I'm just curious. Do you ever look in the mirror before you leave the house in the morning? I, I never really thought about it. You should try it sometime. Yeah, it's actually offensive that we have to experience your fashion disasters on a daily basis. <laughs> well, then, then don't look. Like we have a choice. Whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is such a great shot. Oh my gosh. No. I know. Oh, I gotta oh. get this. Freddy, you're such an oaf. <laughs> this is going straight on the internet. Hey, Megan, Fiona. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it looks like you ate it. Yeah, it, it, it was really intense. What happened? I hit a rock. Oh. Yeah, guess it's really stupid, huh? Yeah. You're bleeding. I am? Oh, yeah, I am, I guess. I got the skateboarding yesterday. Oh, that looks like it really hurts. Eh, no be. Right. Okay. Well, see you around. Yeah. Oh. See ya. Josh. Pretty serious. I think I can fix it. Thanks. I'm working on some really big plants for this summer, so I need to be pretty mobile. Oh, big, huh? Yeah. There's just one more hurdle I have to get over. Well, what's that? My mother. Oh. Mom, I need you to put down your paintbrushes and just breathe for a second. Moon Dance, I have a class in five minutes. Well, then clear your chi or harness your chakra or whatever it is that you have to do to have a fresh perspective. Mom, please. <sighs> okay, I'm as ready as I can be on such short notice. Okay, I'm going to clean stalls and work around the barn for Mr. Longpree, and in exchange, he's going to let me write Tinkerbell. I'm sorry, can you run that by me again? Who's Mr. Longpree? Uh, he's the owner of Tumbleweed Stables. Well, what were you doing there? I thought you had that delivery to make this morning. Yeah, and I did. That's how I found the place. See, all I need is to have your permission. Who's Tinkerbell? That's Checkers. <sighs> Moon dance. Mom, please think about it. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, it'll help me build valuable life skills. Cleaning stalls? It'll help build my character. I think your character is big enough. Oh, and, and it'll teach me humility? Okay, you know what? Do you just stop quoting me? What about your, your job with Mr. McClancy? I, I can do both. Before I say anything, I want to meet this Mr. Longpree. Great, thank you. We can go after your class. Thank you, Mom. <clears throat> so, Mr. Longpree, what exactly do you expect from my daughter? Um, I, I told excuse you, me, I would like to hear it from Mr. Longpree. What time do you want her to start in the morning? 6.30, sharp. Did you hear that, Moondance? <laughs> She's really not a morning person. I am, too. Well, I will be for this. And I don't want any of your noisy friends around here. No problem there. Don't have any. Well, that's not true. Yes, it is. Mom, come on. It's time that you face reality. <sighs> anyway, about her riding. I really must insist that she wear a helmet. And I don't want her doing anything crazy when no one's here. Mom, I don't need a babysitter. 
And about that horse, is there something you can do to settle it down before she gets on it? I mean, the two of them were just tearing around our yard like maniacs this morning. Look, I don't need your daughter's help. She came to me, she asked for a fair trade. I agreed. She works hard, she gets to ride. And that's all I expect out of her. Here. You can borrow this. <clears throat> Great. That's all I needed to know. Well, here you go. I thought I'd jazz up our veggie burgers with a bit of soy cheese. Oh, what I would give for a Big Mac right now. <clears throat> what? You used to let me eat them. Well, that's before I saw Super Size Me. Do you want some amino acid? N no, thanks. I'd rather die. You know, honey, you said something today that was a little upsetting. Yeah? What was that? That you don't have any friends. Oh, yeah, that. Well, what happened to Mary Powell? Did you guys have a falling out? Uh, no, she was my math tutor. You paid her to come over. Oh. Well, how about Ernie Schmelding? Uh, he moved. He did? Yeah, like, last year. Wow. Oh, you know that Veronica from my art class? Now, she seems like a really nice girl. Maybe we could invite her over for tea. Mom, she's old. She's like 20. Well, then I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I mean, I've come to grips with my situation. And besides, I've got a new four-legged friend. Just promise you'll be careful out there. I will. Don't worry. I'll even wear that funky helmet. <laughs> Thank you. Now, eat your dinner. Yeah, that uh, soy cheese really kicks it up a notch. <laughs> I don't know why you make me eat these. Kids should not have to eat veggie burgers. It's burger. not that bad. Mom, it's not beef. I love beef. <laughs> Start with Tinkerbell's doll. You gonna help? Here. Probably need that, too. <laughs> Bro. I'm finished, Mr. Longpray. Did you get fireball his supplements? Yes, sir. What about the water trough in the pasture? Did you check it? I filled it to the brim and made sure that I locked the gate behind me. Okay. Go into the tack room. Get that little western saddle with the striped blanket. I'll be in there in a minute. Yes! Sorry. I won't make any more noise. Give a good tug on the sand like that. And the rabbit back through the hole. Got it? Got it. Now, how often do you wash the saddle blanket? Don't worry about the saddle blanket. Okay. You can get on now. Okay. Uh, uh, wrong side. <gasps> Don't be darting around. Horses are unpredictable animals. You gotta think before you move. Get on the box. Here, come on, Tinkerbell. <laughs> Whoa. Always get on from the left. How come? Stop asking so many questions. Sorry. And stop apologizing all the time. Okay. Put your helmet on. Right. All right, good. You've got a natural seat. I do? Yeah, you know, sit up straight. Good. Keep the weight on the balls of your feet and your heels down. Okay. Can I ask you one more question? If you must. How did he get the name Tinkerbell? He, uh... He came with that name when I bought him. Well, I don't think he likes it. Does he look like a Tinkerbell to you? No. I think that he should be called Checkers. <sighs> Call him whatever you want. Take him in the ring. Checkers. Good name. Sweetheart? Mm-hmm. Sweetheart, have you uh, seen my car keys? Did you check your purse? Oh, no. Where is my purse? I'll help you find it. Oh, where did I put it? No, I wonder if I left it upstairs. Yeah, it oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, what's going on, Mom? 
Um, nothing. You look pretty. Well, thank you. I mean, you always look pretty. It's just that today you look extra pretty. Well, remember I told you I'm, I'm going to that poetry reading. And that's it? All right, if you must know, I'm, I'm meeting someone there. <laughs> you are? Well, who? It's no big deal. I mean, it's just a casual thing. <laughs> no big deal? Well, when were you planning on telling me this? Well, who is it, Mom? I, I need names. Names? How many people do you think I'm going out with? So it is a date. It's that guy from the juice bar, isn't it? No, it's not the guy from the juice bar. His name is Ben. Ben, your, your student Ben? The, the one with the tie and, and, the, and the button down? Well, yeah, well, why, why do you say it like that? Just be prepared. For what? I think that he's a meat eater. Well, I Okay, you know what, just hold on. Why, why are you being so negative? Because you've tried this before and it's never worked. You know, I've, I've gone on four dates in the last three years. Oh, no, I'm missing a button. See, he's already got you all off kilter. No, he hasn't. You have. I just don't understand why you can't be happy with the way things are. Why do you have to go and change everything? Sweetheart, I'm not changing anything. I'm, I'm, I'm going to a poetry reading uh, and now I'm late. So go. Well, I don't feel good about leaving you like this. Mom, I'm fine. I don't believe you. I am. Really. All right. Well, how do I look? You look great. Thanks. Okay, I'll be home before nine. Okay. And um, I have my cell phone if you should need me. Mom, just go. Okay, I'm going. I'll be fine. Okay. I wish you were here, Dad. I just wanted to let you know I was home. Mm. How'd it go? It was very nice. Mm. That's good. It's a daddy sweater. Yeah. Sweetheart, I want you to know something. You're the most important thing in the world to me, and nothing would ever change that. I know. And I will always love your father. No matter what happens, I would never try to replace him. You understand that, don't you? I'm trying to. I know. I know it hurts. But it's gonna be okay. Really, it is. I love you,
Moon dance. Hi. You trying to wear a hole in that leather? No. Sorry. You know what time it is? Around eight o'clock? No. It's time for your one month evaluation. It is? Mm hmm. What evaluation? See if you and Checkers are ready to go out on a trail. A trail? Yeah. And you passed. So saddle up. This is a really pretty area. And I can tell Checkers likes it, too. You're a good match for that horse. It's funny how we met each other, isn't it? Yep, some might call it destiny. That's what my mom says. So, how long have you been writing, Mr. Longpay? If you're gonna keep up with the questions, you may as well call me Dante. Okay. How long have you been writing, Dante? Pretty much my whole life. Oh, wow. That's a long time. You're really lucky. I think Buddy's picked up something in his hoof. Was that bad? No, I'll just have to pry it out. Hey, while you do that, can I go trot checkers around that bend and bring him back? Yeah, okay. Just don't go too far. Okay. Come on, checkers. <laughs> Megan. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Moondance. I didn't know you rode. Yeah, I just started this summer. What kind of a horse is that? This is Checkers. He's a Pinto. I've never seen one at Devonshire. Because we don't ride that breed. Why not? Because Pintos can't jump. <laughs> Come on, Megan. Let's get out of here. You know them? Yeah, they're friends from school. <laughs> they don't seem very friendly. No, I guess they're more like rivals. Well, they shouldn't talk about things they don't know anything about. Why? What don't they know? Checkers is a very good jumper. He is? Excellent, as a matter of fact. How do you think he keeps getting out? Wait! Whoa! Dante! What are you planning on telling me this? I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna follow you. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Checkers, you were great. I can do better. Moon dance. Uh oh. What are you doing? Oh, you see. Oh, well, um. Checkers and I were just testing out his jumping capabilities. Not like that, you're not. Come on. But it... It was just our first attempt. I, I'm sorry, Dante. Look. Just... Just don't... Don't don't be mad at me. Why were you riding bareback? Well, I read that the western saddle is too heavy for jumping. Well, that's right. But that's still no excuse. I, I know it was stupid. I'm sorry. If you're gonna jump that horse, do it right. Here. This is an English saddle. And the girt's right there. <gasps> hey, this is you. Yeah, so what? You never told me that you jumped. Never ask. Well, can you teach me? Nope. Why not? Because that part of my life is over. What do you mean by over? If you know how to jump, then why not teach? I, I mean, why do you live in this place all alone? Where are all your customers? That's enough. What I do with my life is none of your business.
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ask so many personal questions. You don't need to apologize. They were good questions. Deserve an answer. You want to know why I don't have any customers? I've made some bad choices in my life, and it's affected my reputation. And once you've lost that, it's hard to get back. I think everyone deserves a second chance. You think so, huh? Yeah. I mean, you're a cool dude and have a lot to offer. Cool dude. I've never been called that before. Well, it's true. And all you need is one spunky, hardworking student who believes in you, and the word will get out. And just where do you think I'm going to find this spunky student? Drop your weight in your heels. You want to stay perfectly balanced. Extend your arms. Good. OK, take the reins. That's good. Very good. Anticipate his every move. Good. <laughs> and... <laughs> Soft hands. Good. Right leg. Good. Good. Uh-huh. Ah, 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 ah. Keep your eye on the jump. Soften your hands. Oh, uh, sorry, Dante. Good. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, this is my notoriously late daughter, Moondance. Honey, this is Ben. Uh, so nice to meet you officially, Moondance. And I think you already know Ben's son, Josh. Hey, Moondance. Hi. Nice crash helmet. But... Oh, right. Um... I'm, I'm sorry, but would you please excuse me for a moment? Well, uh, we could all use a little more iced tea. I'll be right back. Moon dance. Moon dance. Moon dance, wait up. I can't believe that you did this to me. Did what? I told you that Ben and his son were coming over here for dinner. I mean, the least you could have done was been on time. I think you owe me an apology. I'm sorry I was late. I, I completely forgot. Are you sure you didn't forget on purpose? No! I, I promise! All right, you're forgiven. Just, I, I can't believe that he saw me like this. I don't understand why you're being so dramatic. Well, because you never told me that Mr. Button Down's son is Josh Wilson, and now he's here in this house, and I look like this. Thank you. But, okay, first of all, his name is not Mr. Button Down, it's Ben, and he's wearing a v neck tonight. Well, what did I do? Well, uh, if you're done, I'll take your plates. That was a, um, a, a wonderful and very 
innovative dinner. I could have sworn that eggplant was chicken. <laughs> Mom can make anything taste like chicken. Well, I'm glad you liked it then. Oh, uh, um, yeah. Thanks. That was, uh, it was really good. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Mom, here, let me help you with the dishes. Oh, I'll, I'll get it. We'll be right back. Okay. you have a fire extinguisher because I think I'm going down to flames. Oh, it wasn't that bad, was it? Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Nah, nah, don't be. We all just have to get to know each other. <laughs> well, I found out that Josh is definitely not an eggplant man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but it's, uh, it's good for him to expand his palate. I mean, you should try it sometime. Me? Uh, or maybe not. <laughs> 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 Uh, your mom seems pretty cool. She is. I mean, besides her recent obsession with tofu, she's awesome. Yeah, I guess my dad really likes her. Where's your mom? Uh, she took off to Miami with her boyfriend. Yeah, he's a jerk. I'm really sorry. It's okay. This is weird, huh? Definitely. Moon dance. So, are you gonna go watch the Bow River Classic? Um, I'm not sure. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? Fiona won the classic last year. And Megan came in fourth. Third. Sorry. Third. <sighs> hey, I have an idea. Since you like being around horses so much, you could volunteer as one of our grooms. Love it. <laughs> you do know how to tack up a horse, don't you? Of course she does. Remember, Megan? She rides that little Indian pony. What's his name? Crackers. <laughs> it's Checkers. Whatever. And he's actually jumping now. Really? In that case, why don't you enter him in the competition? <laughs> oh, gotta run. Toodles. What's this? Checkers and I want to enter the competition. That'd be ridiculous. Checkers can't compete in the Bull River Classic. Why not? He loves to jump. It's not his place. But it is. That's why he kept jumping out of the paddock. He was trying to tell you something. And that's how we met each other. Hmm. See? It's his destiny. I don't care how well he jumps. Fact is, Checkers isn't a blue-blooded thoroughbred. But that's why he's so special. He won't be judged fairly. Well, they have to at least give him a shot. They won't. It's the unspoken rule. Sorry. But that's just wrong. Think about all the pinto ponies that can't compete just because they're the wrong color. Checkers can outjump those fancy horses any day. It's impossible. Be up against some of the best trainers in the country. Are you afraid that checkers won't be judged fairly? Or that you won't? 
Maybe both. Well, then you both have something to prove. People are never going to change unless you give them a reason. All right, fine. Let's see if we can give them a reason. Just in a little. Try it again. Come on. Leave him. Eight. Okay. I counted eight paces. Checker's stride is three. How many strides are you going to make if you add two for the takeoff and landing? You mean that we have to do math? Yep. Well, can I go get my pocket calculator? <laughs> Kidding. Well, get serious. You entered into the 100 division, and that means you can't just run around clearing jumps. The judges are going to be looking for finesse. They are? Yes, ma'am. And if you know how many strides you're taking, then you and Checkers will be in sync. So how many times does three go into eight minus the two extra? Two. Good. Did you hear that, Checkers? You got it good. That was for the math, not your writing. <laughs> By the weekend, you need to be practicing in your show boots. But I don't have show boots. Then you better get some. Checkers tacked up. Yes, sir. Hurry up. Let me see. Ladies' riding boots. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, those are lovely. Except that they're $549. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> you could buy a whole horse for that, couldn't you? Oh, there must be something cheaper in here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, you know what? Th those are better. $185. Mom, have you forgotten about our little financial situation? Ah, got a winner. Got a winner, I think. I got a winner. How about ladies' rubber riding boots, $29.99? Perfect. D did you say they were rubber? How soon can you get them, Mr. McClancy? I can get those in a couple of days. All right. What about the riding jacket? Uh, <clears throat> they start at $275. Oh, man. Secondhand coat? Sounds oh, great. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Good. Hey there, Fireball. Why don't you just come in right up? Checkers? Checkers? What's the matter, boy? What's wrong with him, Dante? Looks like a colic. Hand me that lead over there. I've got to get him up. Easy. 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 
Go call a vet. I gotta keep him moving. Go on. The number's on the phone. Good boy. Good. Well, thanks for coming out, Tom. Wish I could do more. We tried to keep Checkers walking as long as possible. That was the right thing to do. But Checkers doesn't want to walk anymore right now. Only thing he can do is let him rest and try again a little later. Yeah. I don't want to paint a hopeless picture, but you know if that horse doesn't get back on his feet tonight, there's a slim chance he'll make it through till morning. I understand. I'm sorry. I'll check in on you later. Just call me if there's any change. Will do. Well, we're going to let Checkers rest for a while. I talked to your mom. She's bringing some supper over. Checkers has to get better, Dante. He just has to. Well, we're not going to lose hope. That horse has got a strong spirit. Just like the little girl who rides him. Sweetheart, you're not eating. I can't. Just take a couple bites. May I go see Checkers now? May as well let her go. Sure. Thanks for bringing dinner, Mom. I'm so sorry. I know that this is a difficult time for both of you. For her. You don't feel like walking, but can you please just try and get up now? You 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 don't even have to walk. You could just you could just try and, and stand up. Come on, checkers. I I know you can do it. If you could just try, please. I love you so much. You're my best friend, and, and I don't know what I would do without you. Please don't give up. Please, I will help you. You could just, just try, Jack. Just try. Checkers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Eat some warm bran. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. That's the best sign. That means in a few days he'll be good as new. Be the strongest horse in the competition. <laughs> Does that taste good, Checkers? Well, don't be intimidated by it. It's just a barn like any other. Yeah, just fancier. Name, please. Uh, I got uh, Moondance Alexander from Tumbleweed Stables. And Checkers. <laughs> and, and Checkers. <laughs> OK, you can go on through. Yeah, oh, well. Dan, so why don't you take Checkers into his stall, and Buck and I'll bring the tack. Okay. Come on, boy. Hotel. Ooh. With room service. Thank you. Oh. Say it isn't so. Hey, checkers, don't get too chummy with this one. He's the defending champion. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Oh, what, do, what do you got in there, gold bullion? <laughs> well, we have to be prepared. Yeah. Why don't you go sign in? Get your number. We'll get checkers ready. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Mom. Hey. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, isn't it amazing? Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hi. Hi, Josh. Hey. Yeah, uh, we're really looking forward to watching you ride today. Oh, thank you. The warm-up ring is now available for the Hunter Division. Well, that's me. I gotta go. Okay, don't forget your jacket. Oh, that's right. Good luck. Uh, hey, Moondance. I just wanted to uh, wish you good luck. Thanks. I'll, I'll see you later. Great. You haven't painted his hooves yet? Can you please do it now? Hi. Moon dance? Just showing today? 
Yeah, I, I took your advice and I entered my Pinto. Really? That's amazing. You'd better get ready. They just called our division. I'll, I'll be ready. Checkers? Oh my goodness, you look so handsome. You guys are awesome. Well, Team Tumbleweed at your service. Better get your boots on. Okay. Hey. Hey. Is that moon dance? Can you believe it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Please tell me she isn't putting on rubber boots right now. No way. She is. <laughs> I can't believe she's going to show in those. Who cares? It just makes us look better. Don't let them get to you. You know why they're putting you down, don't you? Why? Because they're not sure of themselves. Get checkers warmed up. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go get myself a good seat. Good luck, Arlen. Knock him dead. W we're sure gonna try. <laughs> okay. Let checkers get used to his surroundings. And then once he settles in, I want you to take him over that jump a couple of times right there in the middle. All right. OK. Hey, slower horses stay on the outside. <laughs> Dante, surprised to see you here. Not as surprised as I am. That has got to be your pinto. <laughs> yep. Moon dance. You have got to settle down, girl. Right. That turn was way too sharp. Now, checkers can feel your energy. So if you're focused, he'll be focused. OK. Remember, you're a team. Right. We're a team. Good. Try it again. OK. That's an unusual choice for a hunter. Any room over there? Oh, yeah, right here. Uh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, good to see you, Buck. Oh, you too. Yeah, where'd you get that hot dog? <laughs> oh, I got it over there. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? <laughs> I'll tell you later. Uh, hey, guys. Hey. hey. Hi. Oh, this should be all right. Check out the guy in the monkey suit. Freddy, if you're just going to bash everyone, sit somewhere else. Chill, dude. I'm serious. Fine. I'll go bash where I'm wanted. Good move. Hey, hot stuff. Hey. Josh is being moody again. Oh, forget him. Yeah. See you again. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 10th annual Bow River Classic. And joining us today from Rev Sports TV, our friends Joe Cipriano and Mike Weir. Well, thank you, Kirk. It looks like we're in place. Oh, it's starting. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Ah, uh, she's going to do great. <laughs> oh, I love this. I really love this. We're starting with Junior Hunters. Our first entry from Sonata Farms, number 230, Shannon McGinnis riding Uptown Girl. Now, Mike, Shannon is coming off a big win in Indio in the Modified Hunter Classic. And I really think this horse suits her style. They are moving nice and quiet down this line. Very good. Aspen should be so much fun. Megan, you're next. Now approaching the brown oxer. She took off a little close on that one. She's going to have to pick up the pace to get back on Good luck here. with your lead changes. Thanks for reminding me, Fiona. <laughs> and now coming up to the final jump. Oh, and that's a very solid ride for Miss McGinnis. 
Next entry from Devonshire Farms, number 246, Megan Montgomery riding Avalon. Joe, this is a new horse for Megan. Oh, that's right. He's a terrific Irish thoroughbred. Ooh, good takeoff there. You know, this horse could give her the edge she needs with the judges. Get off the phone, Fiona. Hey, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Bye. You wanna go over the course one more time? Please, I can do this blindfolded. So far, this is a stylish presentation. I am, I'm very impressed. Okay. All right. You see this combination here? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be tight. It's gonna be nice and quiet going into it. Okay. Okay? Nice and quiet. Yeah. Great ride from Megan Montgomery. I thought she might have had a slight bobble in her last lead change, but she was in that far corner over there. I'm not so sure the judges even saw it. If that's the case, it would definitely put her in the running for oh, the top five. Oh, checkers, no, 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 no. You cannot eat the flowers. We're watching Ted Michaels now. He's an impressive competitor, always in the ribbons. Nice ride. I missed my lead change. Well, besides that... Don't worry, Megan. It was just a hop. Judges probably didn't even notice. James Michaels, who's a former Olympic champion, of course. Oh, that, that takeoff was a little rushed there, but the one thing you can count on from Ted is that he always remains cool and calm. Remember, Absolutely. you're the champion. I know. Next entry from Devonshire Farms and last year's Bow River Junior Hunter champion, number 251, Fiona Hughes, riding Monte Carlo. <laughs> Everyone has their eyes on this young lady. She is the one to beat. But let's not count out Shannon McGinnis and Megan Montgomery. They both had excellent rides today. Monte Carlo is a six-year-old Hanoverian gelding with a championship pedigree. So far, she's riding this course perfectly. It. Exquisite horse, superb equitation, perfectly turned out rider elegant coat, custom boots. I mean, it's the whole package. They are flawless. They're coming up to the last line. Show me to slow it down to make this tight combination. And what a performance by Fiona Hughes. Absolutely beautiful. Joe, do you think it was enough to win it? Well, you never can tell which way the judges will go, but that was outstanding. That was a lovely ride. Yeah, that's a fancy horse. <laughs> and now we're down to our last that was perfect. What did you expect? That was a really good ride. Oh, thanks. I don't know too much about her or her horse for that matter. Okay. Take a nice deep breath. You might want to exhale. <laughs> All right, you got the course visualized? Yes. Okay, you're ready. Thank you, Dante. Go get him. Our last entry from Tumbleweed Stables is number 224. There she is. There she is. Vance Alexander riding checkers. And yeah. Munda! This ought to be interesting. <laughs> Joe, have you ever seen a Pinto entered in this division? Not, a, not in a major classic like this one. Hey, why didn't you get a real horse? <laughs> <sighs> okay, checkers. We can do this. It's only the first job. <laughs> he seems to be moving well so far. He certainly does. You know, Pintos usually have a much shorter stride than this horse. Oh, look at that. Here we go. Moon Dance is trained by Dante Long. 
long pray. Oh, well, now there's a name we haven't heard in quite a while. You know, Dante fell out of the scene after one of his young riders crashed through a jump and was seriously injured. It certainly wasn't anything Dante could have prevented. Well, it's nice to see him back. Yes, it is. Wow, this little horse can really jump. I, I can't help wonder what the judges are thinking right now. And Moondance seems very relaxed for her first time in a major competition. Well, Dante is known for his strict conditioning of his riders, and we are certainly seeing the result of that today. Easy. She's approaching the single ox. I can't watch. It's been giving riders trouble all day. Oh, but it's no trouble yes. for Moondance. Did she make it? Y'all see, you're gonna have to keep your eyes open. You're gonna miss the whole thing. But the most challenging part of the course is still ahead. Oh, beautiful lead change right there. All right, quiet him down, Moondance. She really needs the downshift around this corner. Oh, boy, easy. Easy, boy. She's heading in way too fast. They're gonna crash and burn on this combination. Now, you see, this is where experience really comes into play, which is something that this young lady just doesn't have yet. Come on. Come on. This is it. The final combination. But can we dance maintain her focus and composure over these last two jumps? <laughs> this one, of course, looks like we may have a big enough heart to take her all the way. If they can just make this last stride into the final oxer. No mistakes. There's still no way she's gonna win. Not on that horse. These two underdogs, Mike, have come out of nowhere and they just may have given this a Checkers. You were brilliant. A good boy. Let's go. <laughs> I am very, very proud of you. Thank you. Wasn't Checkers amazing? You both were. Good job, buddy. But was that good? It was great. Oh, yay! <laughs> Checkers, we got a great. Thank you, Dante. Now what's happening? Well, now we have to wait for the results. Hold it. There seems to be a heated conversation going on at the judges' table. It's a pinto. It's a horse. <sighs> When was the last time that we had a pinto in? What seems to be the problem? Well, we're having a little disagreement about the black and white horse. What kind of disagreement? Oh, we don't know where he fits in. He doesn't. I'm sorry, but a pinto doesn't fit in the winner circle of the Junior Hunter Classic. Well, I disagree. Well, you need to make a decision. We've got to announce a winner here. I'm not budging on this. You know, I think Moondance and Checkers might be forcing them to consider a more diverse playing field than they're used to. While we're waiting for a decision from our judges, could we have the Junior Hunter Division trot into the ring, please? Well, win or lose, we gave him something to think about. All right. And now for the results of the Junior Hunter Bull River Classic. Sixth place goes to Jill Blake riding Hot Tamale. Fifth place goes to Katie Harrison riding Tango Dancer. Fourth place goes to Olivia Kane riding Sophie's <laughs> Trophy. Third place goes to Ted Michaels riding Alexandra. Congratulations, another good ride. Second place goes to Shannon McGinnis riding Uptown Girl. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, nice second. And for first place, we have a tie. Our Bow River Junior Hunter Classic Champions are 
Fiona Hughes, riding Monte Carlo. And Moondance Alexander, riding Checkers. We won? What? what? Yes, yes, yes. Are you kidding me? We won, Checkers! We won! Oh, good job, boys! Yeah. I'll be right back. I will be right back. once again. Very good ride. There we are. Thank you. Not a bad little horse you got there, Dante. Not bad at all. Congratulations. This was a very good victory for you and your horse. Thank you. <laughs> well, we, we did have a lot of help. <laughs> We'd like a photograph in a moment. Oh, sure, certainly. Oh, good job, Checkers. Let's put the blanket on the horse. Hey, um, Fiona, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I really like your horse. Oh, thank you, yeah. He's a pretty good boy. Yeah, I've actually been looking for a new place to ride. Why is Tumbleweed Stables? Well, it, it's nothing fancy, but you really get a lot of personalized attention. <laughs> Sounds great. I'll have to check it out. Moon dance. <laughs> Can you hold this for just one second? Of course. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, that was the most fantastic and hair-raising experience of my life. You were amazing. Thank you. Well, it looks like you're going to the winner's banquet. Well, you mean that we are going to the winner's banquet. I gotta run. Hey, Mom, um, do you want to invite Ben to come with us? Really? Yeah, I mean, I was thinking Ben may be different, but he still deserves a chance. What about Josh? Is he invited too? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> about me and mom. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> 